Omega Kanega here with another food review coming at ya. Today, Arby's, they just came out with a couple new items. Their Smokehouse line, Smokehouse Beef Short Rib Line. So today I got the Smokehouse Beef Short Rib Curly Fries. Looks good. They got their short rib meat on here. It's smoked, of course. That's kind of Arby's thing. They have a lot of meats that they season and smoke and, and um, keep over many hours. Their curly fries, which are a super popular item for all of their meals, and you can get them on the side with barbecue sauce, cheese. Oh, I, I gotta dig in. I gotta dig in. That one had a lot of cheese on it. I'm gonna try to get a bite that has barbecue sauce, meat, fry, and cheese. That's good. Fries are just a little soggy. It comes really hot, so when it comes with a container, it comes with a lid. It makes it a little steamy. So a little bit of moisture in there and it made the fries just a little bit soft. Still tastes really great, great flavor. So while I'm thinking about that, I wanna share some fun facts and, and some history about Arby's because I've had a couple people tell me, hey, Mega, you should add in some, you know, some history facts, you know, that kind of stuff so you're not just eating on camera, right? Because, you know, we don't wanna see you eating on camera. And I'm like, yo, that's cool, I like it, I dig it. I dropped it, here we go. Arby's is owned by the mother company, Wendy's. If you knew that Wendy's owned 20% of Arby's, comment below and let me know that. Cause I just learned that. I was doing some research, doing some reading, found out some fun facts. Wendy's owns 20% of Arby's, so of course Wendy's is underneath an umbrella, a bigger company that owns a couple things. But under the Wendy's name, they own 20% of Arby's. Also, another fact, Arby's started out with roast beef because they wanted to have their own market. A lot of burgers were popular at that time, a lot of new items, a lot of things were out, but it was all the same, burgers and fries. So Arby's came out with sandwiches. Roast beef was their main item to start out. And that's still one of their more popular items. They have a lot of beef type products. Um, but but yeah, so that's what they, they did. They came out with wanting it to be mainly uh, roast beef sandwiches. Came out with the curly fries because everyone had was the thin cut straight fries. And they also wanted their restaurant to be a little more sophisticated, a little bit higher end at that good price. Now they've been redoing a lot of the, the buildings of Arby's, which is pretty neat because it looks nicer, it's eye appeal, it looks fancy, modern, bright colors. But they originally wanted to be sophisticated more than their, uh, their competition of the other burger joints, which they didn't quite meet because Arby's is pretty basic, pretty standard, but the new buildings are looking very nice. But when the Arby's first started out, that's what they wanted. They wanted to be more sophisticated and have that edge above their competitors along with having a more focused roast beef sandwich with the curly fries. So, after all that, I gotta take another bite. I just gotta test it out. Another bite, see what we got. Man, that barbecue's good. Because the fries are a little soggy, I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. But I encourage you guys to check it out. Everyone loves Arby fries. They're, they're unique, they're different, they're good flavor. Mix all that in with the smokehouse meat, the beef, the beef, uh, the beef short rib uh, with cheese and barbecue sauce on top of it. It's good, people. Check it out. You do not wanna miss this. And don't forget, Every Tuesday, four o'clock. Every Tuesday, four o'clock. What? Every Tuesday, four o'clock, people. Check it out. 
Let me know what you think. Comment, like, subscribe. <sighs> All right, Megatons, Megatonians, Megaites, Mega Minions. Ooh, that kind of sounds evil. I don't know. Mega Minions, be safe out there. Peace out, my peeps. Mega out.